Hey, this is uh, a tutorial of the week, just kind of walking through of the new system that I have in place. I hope it's easier for you to make a, a schedule for your own week. Um, I'm excited about it myself for you guys. And uh, please provide as much feedback as possible to help me um, become a better teacher for you during these times. Um, and so I just uploaded my uh, plan here, my Google Docs plan for you guys for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday this week. This is dates 421 through 424. So I'm just going to walk you through um, how, I, how I created this and I'm trying to communicate information to you guys. All right, so uh, it's just letting you know the lesson plan and the day here. All right, so you're going to start this on Tuesday. And then it's going to let you know whether or not there's a Zoom meeting for that day. So there's no Zoom meeting. And this is going to be above each plan, office hours, letting you know that I'm available Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday during scheduled flex hours. Uh, email me if you, if you would like to schedule a time to meet during the flex period. I would like the communication ahead of time to let me know. Um, and then I can send you the um, Zoom meeting link. Uh, just for security reasons, I think that's the best way to do it so these invites aren't floating around everywhere. Um, okay, so here are some basic objectives for the first lesson on Tuesday. Um, this, uh, this is SWBAT, SWABIT. Um, that's just a, a teacher acronym uh, students will be able to. This is what I'm hoping you can do um, or learn, pardon me. Um, there's less doing. It's not a chemistry class or biology class. There's no labs, but it's it's what you're able to learn as a result of spending time in this lecture. So gain new information from teacher about the cycle of death and rebirth. That's the main goal of this lecture on Tuesday. And I'm going to give that to you through Prezi lecture. And I should also put here um, YouTube link. All right. So that's the way in which you're going to gain this information. All right. So I have uh, here the time that it's going to take you to do this. Um, and this one should be straightforward because it is a 43 minute video. After you listen to the 43 minute video, you take your notes and upload it on Google Classroom, a place to turn it in, and you're done. Um, so that's your 43 to 45 minute class. Um, you shouldn't be spending any longer on that class period. This is a checkoff list for you to say, yep, I checked that off. I've turned it in on Google Classroom. Um, and there are some additional resources for you as well. I've created a Samsara handout for you to kind of get the big uh, 30,000 foot bird's eye view of Samsara. And I've also scanned uh, a textbook with a little bit more uh, information if you want to dig a bit deeper. This information down here is always going to be optional for you, the learner. I just want to make sure you guys are learning this information and it's not just. Um, a boring walkthrough material. Okay, um, here is the next day. Again, I was going to say this is a video of a week at the glance, uh, a glance at the week, pardon me. And this is Wednesday. Um, so there is a Zoom meeting on Wednesday. So after listening to the lecture, um, I, maybe there are some questions. So I'll spend about the first five, 10 minutes of QA time uh, of about Samsara. Um, but then I'm going to go into the next discussion of the transformation and soul, and I'm going to do a screen share with you guys. Notice I have that here, a screen share of that material. So be ready to write down the information there as you are learning that. And that comes from some presentations that I've planned ahead of time. Ultimately, swap it, students will be able to gain new information from teacher about the transformational process the soul goes through in Buddhism. There's, there's quite a lot to discuss there about the soul and Buddhism. Make sure you're doing the checkoff list here. You've listened to that. You showed up to the Zoom meeting and you turned in a set of your notes uh, showing the process of engagement there. If you would like some additional resources on this information, I, have, I will post for you on Google Classroom extra readings from the scripture that are very helpful for transformation and Buddhist readings on the soul. And there's a short reading, but it's a good one. And you can kind of get a, a flavor and understanding and grasping the material uh, from a Buddhist perspective there, which is always helpful. But again, like I said before, optional, okay? And on Friday, 
This brings us to the end of our week. There will be no scheduled Zoom meeting. There is going to be a Buddhism Google Forms test. So look for that. I will post that link on Google Classroom Friday morning. Okay, I'm not going to post that ahead of time. I'm going to post that one on Friday. Again, a checkoff list here. Make sure you did the uh, took the test and make sure you submitted the form, the, uh, the Google form at the end. Don't forget to click that submit button. Um, actually, let's see. Uh, it didn't upload the right thing. This is students will be able to. Now you're just going to be taking um, taking a test. That's uh, that's about it there. Objectives. Just updating this on the fly here. And the way we're going to do that is Google Forms, okay? So it didn't save that part of it as it uploaded my Google Doc here, unfortunately. Additional resources for differentiation. Again, there's nothing today. I didn't have anything extra because we are coming to the end of Buddhism on Friday. Okay, um, that was my short little tutorial video of what the week looks like. Um, but again, not everyone needs to listen to this, but I just wanted to make sure you understood um, how I was piecing together this schedule for you. Hope this helps you guys, and we'll see you during the next Zoom meeting. God bless you.